Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. This is episode 50, The Right of Turnabout and Sanity Trial, I guess is the best way to say this. Sorry for running really late, not really feeling the best today, but, um... I, I woke up, I woke Luke up several times today. Because <clears throat> I had a doctor's appointment, so he had to help me with that. Mm. Uh, so anyway, your first like goal is 100 likes. Uh, I think this is the latest we've started in quite a while. Sorry about that. And uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to more Ace Attorney. Um, your first like goal is 100 likes. I might have already said that, I don't know. And uh, we're diving into this. So yesterday we kind of left on a cliffhanger. So, we'll see what happens today. Plus you. Uh, Ray, okay. Um, where are we? Where are we? You want me to get you some tea? Mmm, no. I'm not having an issue with my throat. Okay, so we're on episode 3, The Ride of Turnabout. Which is right here, I think. That's our rebel. We were in the basement. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're in the basement of the giant spider. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, um... Yeah, so sorry guys, uh, everything is thrown off because I, I had to go to the clinic today and um, I... Uh, Basically, what they told me is I probably have TMJ, which is what you get from basically talking too much. I had TMJ. So, basically, I thought I had an ear infection, but apparently it wasn't. It was a TM. I don't have any infection. I just have a uh, TMJ, so it just means my jaw is kind of sore from talking a lot. Okay. Oh no. That's not good. Alright. The fastest way to charge your phone is to plug it into the game system. There you go. Okay, so we're in the basement. I think we examined everything that needs to be examined. Um, so that means we need to present evidence to... Uh... People actually click on the photos. There's a photo. Hmm? Like all the photos. Oh. Right. Thank you, chat. Yeah, this looks like a photo of uh, Dirk and his compatriots. And here's one that looks really old. Mm. Wow, that was taken about 20 years ago. Mm. They're, those are uh, Dirk's sons. They look cute. Huh? Really? So this is uh, Rebel Dirk in the uh, center. He doesn't look so evil. And both his sons look kind of familiar. They do? The one on one on the left is Yudi. Oh, but uh, you know him as Prosecutor Sadman. The prosecutor was Dirk's son? Uh, that he is. Yudi was once a rebel too. He used to really respect his old man. Both as a father and as a lawyer. And why'd he become a prosecutor? Being a lawyer in this kingdom is the same as signing your own death warrant. On account of the uh, Defense Act, right? Yeah, that's why Yudi decided to be a prosecutor instead. He wanted to spark a revolution from the inside, so he dove right into the enemy's den. Uh, I would have never guessed it. Look at Adam Mao. You could say that again. Uh, Dirk is battling to change the legal system. The will of the dragon spurs him on. We all thought Yudi was uh, taking up the mantle to carry on that will, too. We were sure he'd help overthrow uh, Garan well, one day, but... As you've seen, he now uses law to do her bidding. Dirk's uh, been beside himself. So he no longer carries the will of the dragon in him, huh? 
I wonder what happened between the father and son for all this to come. All this to happen. What about the other kid in the photo? That's Dirk's adopted son, but he's gone back overseas. His name's Apollo. Apollo? Wait a second. That bracelet, is it really Apollo? What? He was a rascal, that one, and his voice could shake the entire room. I imagine he's out there raising some hex somewhere. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he's doing just fine. Uh, considering how far he's come, Mr. R. Rebel's description really doesn't do Apollo justice. That's really Apollo? Mm-hmm. Yep. Apollo! I've been watching you grow over these past two years. That's why I know you're ready. Why I can leave Trucy in the office to you. I believe in you, Apollo. Thank you. I'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Look at my cold. Uh, he's a responsible young man now. He never lost uh, that loud voice, though. Uh, well, I gotta start packing. Who knows what they might uh, catch up with me if I don't scram soon. Please wait. I still need to ask you something. Uh, go ahead, shoot. What are the rebels trying to do? And uh, why are you at the Inner Sanctum in the first place? Alright, so I need to... Okay, sorry guys, I have, um, I do have a nasty cold. Um, what was I doing again? I was doing um, this. you were asking him why, well, why are the rebels doing what they're doing? What is their goal? Oh, right, yeah. yeah. You're having tension? Uh. Headaches? No, I got something in my eye, sorry. Mm. The lady at the clinic told me that, mm. she said, are you guys under a lot of stress? She said that... Tension headaches are part of TMJ. I've had TMJ for years. Do you get tension headaches with it? Uh-huh. Yeah, of course I'm under stress. I got the government stuff, the hacking stuff, the channel, the... Uh, I've got, like... I feel like my shoulders are always so heavy. I, I have, like, probably four or five things weighing me down every day. I just try not to let it get to me. Just get up and try to treat every day as a new day. That's what I do. That's how I don't go insane. What is I doing again? Mr. R. Rebel's plan. Mm -hmm. Um, why were you at the Inner Sanctum on the day of the murder? Or more precisely, what are you uh, trying to do there? Here. That's there. More precisely, what are you trying to do there? I was trying to escape from prison, that's all. But that high priest was a fool for getting taken in by Dirk. You should have tried hightailing it out of there. Up. Oh. Mm -mm. oh wow! Psyche, Psyche locks. locks. Mister Our Rebel is hiding something, but I won't know exactly what until I can undo the locks. Uh oh. What exactly are you trying to hide, Mister Our Rebel? Uh -huh. I'm not hiding anything. No way. No how. I'll just, uh, I'll just have to use my mag magtama on him then. Hmm. You guys have been doing great with the likes. Um, great to see everyone. Hi, William. Hi, Don. Hi, May 12. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Oh, and um, before I forget, guys, just a little business for you guys. Um, we lost a lot of members at the... Uh, this is not an April Fool's joke. But we're having um, kind of a, a squeeze on us, like, revenue-wise. So if you guys are able to become a member uh, this month, please consider it, because we really need the help. Memberships help out tremendously. Not only do they alert people of our um, many, many streams and 
uh, shorts and stuff that we post, but it also, it's, it's like putting revenue directly into the channel. It, it's like, um, getting like a, um, I don't, I don't even have good parables right now, but it, it really does help. So if you guys are, are able to, like, do the $5 tier this month. It's like getting a new lease on life. I, it really, it does help us a lot, the, you know. Uh, staying around that three to four hundred like members a month, it, it's um, it, it takes away a lot of our stress. Like it, otherwise, it feels like we're up on a tightrope like every month. So if you're able to, please consider it. It's just five dollars a month. I renewed my Twitch membership today. Says Tom. Thank you so much, Tom, for renewing on Twitch. That helps tremendously. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for your help, Tom. Here we go. Yeah, if you guys were gifted a membership last month, um, reconsider, if you could re, if you could consider becoming a member for just one month, that will help out tremendously. Yeah, if you could do another month, that's great. Yeah, hey. it's only the cost of a cup of coffee and a donut, and it help, greatly helps the channel to mm -hmm. stay on the air. Yes, it does. Alright, that's plan. That's a plan. I'm gonna ask again. Why were you at the Inner Sanctum on the day of the murder? Or more precisely, what were you trying to do there? Ah, oh, you can keep asking, but the answer's still the same. I was trying to escape from prison, that's all. But uh, that high priest was a fool. He fell for Dirk's line and sold his own country out. How can you say such things about him? He helped you escape, didn't he? Don't you even care what happened to him? Uh, nope, I was getting out of rebellion anyway. Hmm. Thank you very much, Justo Kenobi, for the gifted oh, membership. Yep, and Justo did a super chat earlier as well that I didn't get to read. So I'm sorry about that. Oh. Happy Easter. Happy April Fool's Day. Have you thought about getting a webcam? We have a web... We, we have a webcam. We have a webcam. We don't have very good lighting in this... Uh, in our. We don't have any overhead lights where we are. In our apartment. Thank you, uh, thank you, Justo Kenobi. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much, and thank you, Erica, for becoming a member. Or it looks like Eric. I'm sorry if I said Erica. I'm way back here. I cannot even read it. So somebody else became a member earlier today. Thank you for that person. Thank you very much. Okay. Sorry if I called you by the wrong name. Oh. Uh, what, what uh, so we have to figure out oh, yeah. the psyche. Uh, nope. I was getting out of the rebellion anyway. Uh, he should have opened his eyes. We never stood a chance against Garan Empire. Hang on, do you really believe what you're saying? Didn't the High Priest's death really hurt you on the inside? Like I said, I couldn't care less about the whole thing. I beg to differ. This wouldn't be here in this room if you didn't feel a thing. Um... He said he doesn't care about... Take that! What does that have to do with anything? You don't know? Try looking deep into your heart. I still don't get it, but I'm starting to think you don't either. Uh, why does it feel so much worse when it's him who's pointing out my failures? I told you, I couldn't care less about the High Priest. Really? Because I'm pretty sure I have something that points to his grief. I beg to differ. What would point to his grief? Um, the flower. Yeah. The flower, he left the flower. That's true. Take that! I heard these flowers are offered in memory of the dead here in your country. The high priest's death hit you hard, so you've been grieving here alone, haven't you? Well... Oh! Oh, very good, Luke. Those flowers don't mean anything. It's just a way of saying goodbye in our country. Why hide the fact that you're mourning his death? You're reading into this too much. I told you, I'm done with the rebellion. I haven't even heard from Turk or, or the rest of them for a few days. And tomorrow I'm planning to kiss this kingdom goodbye. No, I know you've been in contact with other rebels lately. And how exactly do you plan on proving that? This piece of evidence ties you to the other rebels. Now the book, maybe? It's a brand new prayer flag found at the Plaza of Devotion. Maybe this is it. Take that! I found this prayer flag at the Plaza of Devotion. You wrote a message on it and left it behind for fellow rebels, didn't you? Uh They brought this uh they brought this food for you at your request. Uh 
So you're lying about leaving the rebels. You're still involved with Dirk and the rest of them, aren't you? Ah! Are you ready to tell me the truth now? Game? Game wing? Uh, thank you very much. Um, am I reading that right? Ultimate hero? What? Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, thank you, Game Wing. That helps out so much. That's like 20 members what? in one. Wow, thank you so much, Game Wing. Unbelievable. I can't find a thing. Um, I can't think straight. Just, there it is. I'll vote, I'll vote there. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you very much, Game Wing. We really appreciate that. That helps he tremendously. Said, sure. Wow. Yeah, let us know what um if you have a game you want us to, to what game you want us to play, Game Wing. Unbelievable. <sighs> Alright. Thank you very much. That helps so much. Uh once you're good, Mr. Lawyer Man, I admit I requested a grub. But I was just taking advantage of him, that's all. What do you mean by that? With my face plastered all over the place, I couldn't stay out in the open anymore. So I took advantage of my former comrades for some grub and a place to hide. But I was gonna kiss this kingdom goodbye tomorrow. I'm not buying it. You're obviously lying, I can tell just by looking at you. The white-hot flame of revolution definitely still burns on inside of you. What? That's ridiculous. Those flames burned out a long time ago. This proves that the flames of revolution still burn inside you. Take that! Uh, Dirk's law book. I'm no lawyer, so what's that got to do with me? Look at the mark burned over the cover. That's the mark that still stands for unwavering commitment to the revolution. It's Dirk's way of representing the will of the dragon. Yeah, so what of it? You have that same mark on your scarf tied around your left arm. But you wouldn't be wearing that if you were no longer a rebel. I, uh, forgot to take it off, that's all. <laughs> no, as a wanted man, that should have been the first thing you took off. The fact that you haven't hidden that mark yet proves you're still a rebel. Ah! Uh, think what you want, but you, you don't know nothing about me. No, you're wrong. You wear your heart and your beliefs right on your sleeve, just like me. And this is what I believe in. Take that! Uh, when a person back when a person's back is against the wall, they always fall back on what they believe in. Just as always, I have my badge. You have the wild dragon with you. The will of the dragon with you. And you would risk your life for your beliefs? No, I wouldn't. No? No, because I wouldn't be as so much to use uh, my clients... Well, no, because I wouldn't be much to use to my clients dead. Now I admit it. You've never once thought about leaving the uh, Defiant Dragons, have you? Uh, that look in your eyes is just like Dirk's. Looks like we've... You've got the will of the dragon inside you, too. Well, that was interesting. Unlock successful. All right. Game Wing says Dragon Ball Xenoverse, or whatever you choose. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Okay. Yeah, thank you for your generosity, Game, Game Wing. We are just completely blown away. I Thank you for your generosity, Game Wing. Unbelievable. Uh, there are rebels plan. We greatly needed that. Thank you so much, Game Wing, Game Wing, for your help. Thank you so much. I plan to take uh, you out if you turned out to be uh, on the side of the royals. But I think I can trust you. I can't believe I was so close to getting shanked here. It's like I said, I have no intention of leaving Turk's group. In other words, you were testing me. Uh, you're a foreigner and a lawyer who has been charged with abetting a criminal to boot. And I've seen a fair share of lawyers get pardoned. After weeping at the feet of the queen. Well, I'm gonna keep fighting till the end. Yeah, I can see what now. Sorry I uh, doubted you. So what are you doing here anyway? 
And I came to get my secret hideout key from a helper. Secret hideout? Yeah, I was supposed to get my next order from Dirk there. But the town's swarming with cops thanks to that murder. Nothing I could do about that. What about the order uh, Dirk was supposed to give you? I'm gonna have to abort that mission. Now I'm just lying low, waiting for a chance to make contact with Dirk again. Hey, why the long face? I thought you'd be able to tell me something about the High Priest's murder. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, I know. Let me make it up to you with this. What is it? It's an orb. It's actually a key. It opens a door to one of our secret hideouts. I can't say any more than that. Anyway, I hope it helps. This orb is a key? Yep, plus the hideout's in a totally unexpected location. And being that it's super secret, we couldn't have just any ordinary key. I see. Golden orb. Maybe it's at the priest's house. <laughs> Game Wing says, I like to help. I was in Boy Scouts. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate that so much. Um, maybe this will help me unravel the truth behind the case. Thank you. Don't mention it. Besides, you're a fellow brother-at-arms fighting the powers that be. If it'll help you, feel free to pick my brain a bit more. Lady Kira. Everyone's been talking about the return of Lady Kira lately. Well, my friend Maya suspected of being the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira. You wouldn't happen to know who she really is, though, would you? Beats me, but whoever she is, she's bushwhacked me and hauled me off to jail. Even worse, on top of uh, attacking us and delivering us to the cops, she's been watching us like a hawk and framing us for different crimes. Watching you like a hawk, framing you for crimes? Oh, wow. Why would anyone go to all that trouble? Our kingdom likes to pretend that its peoples are free to think what they want. Because of that, the authorities can't arrest you just for sympathizing with the rebellion. So they resort to framing people for things they didn't do. Then that Lady Kira figure is... Yep, she's just some... Uh, lick spittle working for Garan's regime. Wow. Huh. <laughs> Even in uh, the DC Act, Daruk and his insurgent scum buddies days are numbered. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just say I got a little trick up my sleeve, so I'd watch it if I were you. Because you got a defiant attitude like one of them dragons. Huh. So he was talking about Lady Kira then. Advanced combat skills, detailed surveillance, and clever setups. Now, she's no amateur if you ask me. So you're saying the monarchy is using Lady Kira to secretly take out the rebels? Exactly. The Garan regime is using her to control the people, even down to think what we think. Why don't the people protest that the monarchy is doing so, uh, so many bad things? Unfortunately, we don't have any conclusive evidence. And without that, can't prove anything. I know the feeling. If I bring this up to court, they probably dismiss it offhand. I'll have to unmask Lady Kira if I want to get anywhere. Maybe Dirk is, or I mean, maybe the Queen's husband is Lady Kira. No, I don't think so. He could have done, he said, I have a trick up my sleeve. No, I don't think he's the guy. Lady Kira be. could be a man dressing as a, a girl. I mean, it's just her weird mask. Oh. Okay, thank you, Dom. Says if you have TMJ. And when you wear, uh, get a, uh, a mouth guard, when you wear it helps relax your head and neck muscles and the biting muscles. Thank you, Don. I appreciate the concern. Thank you so much. Yeah, unfortunately, they gave me medicine for it to relax my muscles. Um, okay. Oh, you've had it too, Don? Oh, wow. Thank you, Don Hawk. I really appreciate that. Thanks for, so much for the concern. I appreciate that. Yeah, it really, um, like, I went in today and I thought I had a, well, I didn't think I had an ear infection. I, it was near my ear. It was like a, like, it was like inflamed near my ear and I was like, 
What is that? And I was like, they kept saying it's your right ear, right? And I said, no, it's near my ear. But my ear isn't. And then, like, they looked at it and they were like, yeah, it's your jaw. Um, it's like, but I can't actually take my medicine that they gave me because my blood pressure is too high. So my blood pressure was way too high when they took it. Uh, probably because I need to take less... I need... Maybe I forgot to take my blood pressure medicine last night, and also because I have too much coffee this that... This is why I tell you to take it every day. Okay. Um, so I've been waking... I went, woke Luke up like three or four times this morning to tell him what was going on. So my blood pressure was really high, so that's kind of why Luke's half asleep. So sorry, everyone. I messed Luke up for today. <laughs> sorry, Luke. Yeah, what were you saying about me taking my blood pressure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take that. Yeah, I'm a little messed up because I didn't really get proper sleep. Um, anyway, guys and gals, let's get those likes up if we haven't already. Ultimates in the chat. Um, there is a new ultimate tab that was just made asking you guys what your stream stream is and what date you would like, as well as if you were a VIP from March and you didn't get your stream, you get priority placement, so yeah. we need to hear from you guys. Yeah, so Game Wing, who just became an ultimate, will we'll try to work with you to get a day that you'll be able to be there for your stream and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, the goal of revolution. Mm, yeah. Um, ultimate streams can either be in the morning, um, for, like, uh, if you have Amber, you want Amber to do a stream, or... Right now, we only have the 1 o'clock in the morning time slot available um, because of how the state of the channel. And oh since, my gosh. Yeah, since streams are all so well, much later. I accidentally moved the stream back today because no, I it's, was... It's, it's been all of March that they, I know. the ultimates have been moved to 1. I know, I'm sorry about it's okay. that. Goal of revolution. Our goal? To get rid of that evil no good defense act. Now, I can tell just by looking at Dirk's law book... The DC Act has turned this kingdom into a corrupt cesspool, where false charges are overlooked and prosecutors are the only ones uh, head in court. Heard in court. It's been 23 years since it was first enacted. What happened 23 years ago to make them pass such a terrible law? The assassination of the Queen. That's where it all began. It happened before I was even born, but the Queen, the previous one, was assassinated. And it was the Rebels' leader, Dirk, who did it. Dirk uh, assassinated the former queen, didn't he? Uh, that's the official line, but... The official line? Those charges were completely trumped up. Dirk was framed, I'm telling you. He was? Plus, Dirk was a lawyer. Once the people thought a lawyer had killed the queen, they turned against all lawyers. And that's how the DC Act was first passed. So that's why there aren't any lawyers left here. Even worse, it changed the significance of the divination seance. The significance of the seance? They were holding seances in court even before the DC Act? Oh, you bet they were. Lawyers and prosecutors used to uh, hotly contest the insights that came out of seances. You mean like they... like what I've been doing? Right, it's like Dirk used to say. The royal priestess' insights are just another piece of evidence. Right. I see what you mean about the significance of the divination seance. Uh, yep, the insights become only the truth. Argue against them was banned. As royal priestess, it is my duty to reveal the truth to the divination seance. This time, I will prove that the insights I gleaned thereof are the very truth itself. Prepare yourself, lawyer scum, for this shall be your last trial and your last rites. Tomorrow shall end with you under the headsman's axe. Uh, from what I've seen from Raffia, Rafa, I would agree with that. This kingdom's a shadow of its former self. It's become a dictatorship where the royals use fear of a trumped-up charge as to rule. And that's why Dirk's been rebelling against? Uh, yep. All he wants is to live in a kingdom with a fair and impartial legal system. And there's only one way to make that come true. Overthrow the current regime. So that's the truth behind the rebels. Well, uh, P.E.W., my friend, it's about time for me to get going. After all, I'm the fangs of the 
defiant dragons. That's a rebel. You're not gonna do that alley oop thing again, are you? I was just getting to that. See you when I see you. Okay. Why did he have to jump like that before running off? Well, I guess we're friends now. But enough about that. I've uh, already spent way too much time here. Um. May 11th, Korean Bazaar. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Mostly. Because he's a weirdo, says Don. I finally got out of there. <laughs> Mr. Wright! I'm so glad you're okay. I was worried about you. <laughs> nah, Shadow, what happened to him anyway? <laughs> he came out of the manhole about five minutes after you went in. Sorry he wasn't much help. Mm. Well, did you find anything of worth? Oh, uh, I tripped up and fell down there. I must have been out cold for a while. I better keep uh, things to myself for now. I figured as much. I have to find that secret hideout Mr. Our Rebel was talking about. I should probably start with places that have something to do with the High Priest. Okay. Hmm. You mind talking in the chat for a second? Oh, that's all right. right um, back. Game Wing said, "As long as I get to watch, I'm I'm good." And I already screenshotted what Game Wing said. Uh, Zeno, uh, uh, I think it was um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Yep. Um. All right. So great to see you guys. Hi, Princess Emmy. Hi, Dory. Dory, me fan. Hello, Peter. Hi. Uh. Uh, Captain Zach, great to see you. Uh, Don Haka, hi, Snow Owl. Hello, uh, Jacob Ryan, great to see you. Celestial Animation, hi, Mage Wolf, hi, Philip. Um, hi, Jessica, hello, uh, um, everybody. Pr uh, Jedi Robert, hey, Crossfighter, how's it going? Great to see you. Hi, Ethan, and um, hello, Juan. Hello, OH, and Shadow Trooper, and um, Anthony, and everybody. So hopefully you guys are having a great day today, and uh, and uh, yeah, today uh, yeah, hopefully everyone had a nice Easter, and um, today I uh, meant to actually send my belated Easter cards and go to the post office. I ended up talking to my aunt on the phone, was telling her some stuff that was going on and well, my doctor's appointment and stuff and then I just realized by the time it was 3.30 oh my gosh I have to get back and do my stream so I did uh, I was gonna go to the post office really quick but then there was a huge line at the post office so I was like well I guess I'll send my belated Easter cards tomorrow um so yeah that's basically what I did today and um yeah and then yesterday we um we had some ham and uh I kind of messed up on the, I messed up on two items that I made yesterday for our Easter dinner. Would I made carrots and I put a little bit too much honey and brown sugar on them where they were kind of like swimming in honey and brown sugar. So I kind of didn't follow a recipe. I just threw brown sugar and honey on them because I was like, well, I'm sure this will be fine because I saw all these recipes online that did that. And I think I put too much because basically Luke cannot get the honey off the pan. It's like, like the tin foil is plastered to the pan with honey on it. Yeah, it might be ruined. So I may have accidentally burnt the tin foil onto the pan with honey. It may have like burnt burnt it on there. So I may have to throw the pan out. I may have messed that up. So I'm sorry. There's a little tip. No, it's my fault. Basically, what I did was kind of make almost like peanut brittle with just honey on the pan by like somehow like toasting the honey and it's like almost solid on the pan so that's what happened to me yesterday and yep, yep and that happened and uh yeah so <laughs> that was so next year i'm gonna actually follow a real recipe for the carrots i would su not suggest what i did <laughs> where i just put honey on them uh that's not really a real recipe <laughs> So yeah, that happened. So I hope you guys had a nice Easter with 
friends and family and whoever or if you guys were um, on your own then I hope you guys did something relaxing um, yesterday so yeah but I know some people have to work and stuff okay. alright I've already searched here but it never hurts to take another look around so we're looking for something that looks like a weird symbol where the next part is there's a secret entrance that uses this ball but I don't remember where it goes so um Oh, a secret entrance, okay. Yeah, it's not here at the priest's house. You had a nice Easter. Awesome uh, Chikara heart. The inner sanctum. Oh, oh. wait! I remember now. The... Uh, it's It goes to the eye of the, um... The eye of the bird. It's the eye of the bird. You're, you're up. Yeah. Barb Ted, you already searched here, did you not? Oh, um, I just thought I'd look around again, you know, in case I missed something. You probably shouldn't tell her I'm looking for a secret rebel hideout. We have a saying back home, leave no stone unturned. Hmm, oh, yes. You cannot stump me. I know that one. And actually, I don't have a clue. It is written all over your face. Hmm. Her outfit is very cute, though. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Mm. Whoa! There's blood! This is a statue of Warbad! The bird in which Lady Kira based her appearance! And all the blood is from the High Priest, huh? No doubt! He no doubt embraced the statue in hope that Lady Kira would save him from death. May his soul rest in peace. Considering the amount of blood, he must have been stabbed with considerable force. There's no way Maya would be strong enough to deliver such a blow. Okay, I need to get to the statue. I don't really remember how to do that. Um, oh, um, I think you have to turn and face that way. You have to face the, the, like, out there. Yes. There it is. What is opening the door by poking the bird in the Statue eye? Statue of a bird. Guess I'll guess it and take a look at it. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the missing eye. Hey, this eye is missing. What are you doing? You must not touch that for no reason, barbed one! Sorry! Hmm. But that shape, hmm, I wonder if... Take that! <gasps> I knew it! Okay. Whoa, the bird looks kind of scary now with his eye glaring at us. It was a little less intimidating before. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to go through having um TMJ as well, Don. That that must really uh yeah, it definitely is not not fun. I knew it. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Imagine she didn't know this. Wow, she must be at a loss for words, and that doesn't happen too often. Oh, so someone could have come from back there and killed the person. What is this place? Explain yourself at once, barbed head! I don't think she's ready for the full story. I don't really know much myself, but... It seems to be a secret rebel hideout, I think. If I'm shocked there's a secret door here, I imagine that goes double for Rafa. A rebel hideout? In the inner sanctum? Somebody will pay for this! Well, for now, I think I'll have a look around. Wait! You must not enter before the police! Don't worry, I won't disturb anything, or at least I'll try not to. Besides, if you're watching over me, it should be fine, right? And, uh, you see... Fine! Just please stop pleading your case. I can only stand so much lawyerly drivel. But I will be presenting all information gleaned from your efforts here to the police. 
Of course. Now, shall we? I will go no further. Huh? All right. You're not supposed to come in contact with, uh, with the taint of Lady Kira's battles. Very good, Barbed Head. I commend you for remembering. Oh, well, thank you. Wait, why am I thanking her? I may not be able to enter, but I will always allow. I will allow no misdeeds on your part. I will be watching you like a war bad from the entrance here. I told you I'm not going to do anything, but I better hurry before she changes her mind. Alright, so going inside. I've already searched here, but it never hurts to take another look. Go inside. Let's take a closer look, shall we? I like... How do we get in there? Wasn't he... Cute? Whoa! Oh, wait, no, that's not... Yes, Link is very cute. Mm. Is it a new location, then? Um... I think it's a new location. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's a completely new location. It's a new location. May 11th. Secret hideout. Okay. Mm. This is the 42 minute mark. Secret hideout. Okay. Alright. I believe this to be a sacred space that enshrines the source of the spring water. That makes sense. The rebels must have converted it to uh, form a secret hideout. Mm. Oh. What about the Warbird revolving door? Hmm. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that too was originally intended to hide and protect this sacred place. To think those filthy rebels were scheming their schemes in this most sacred space. It is a desecration upon Corinism itself. The defiant dragon shall pay for this. I suppose it's only natural that she'd be upset, but the investigation must go on. I think I'll start by taking a picture of the place. Good thing I brought a camera to snap some souvenir shots. Stop that! You must not take photos here without permission! Rafa's really fired up. She's uh, sticking her head in as far as it'll go. I guess she won't be tainted as long as she doesn't touch anything. Rebel hideout added to the court record. Hmm. Now to search every nook and cranny. Barb Ted, just because it is hard for me to see your every move, do not use that as an excuse to touch and break things. I heard you the first time. Yeesh. Examine. Hmm. Hey, look. What is it, Barbed Head? It's a plumbed Punisher clock. Why? I believe it's... Uh, it's a limited edition promotional item given to 50 lucky winners. This rare item plays the plumed Punisher theme song every hour. Yeah, hand it over, Barbed Head. I need that. Ah, she snatched it away from me. No matter what she says, Rafa's definitely a huge fan. What a fine item! And this switch, if I am right... It's the Plum Punisher theme song! Yes! Now I see! Hmm... The insurgents who use this room must be plumed Punisher fans! That may be so, but I don't see how it's relevant to this case. Calendar. There's a Plum Punisher calendar here. And now I understand. The villains in the Plum Punisher are based on the insurgents. Watching the show must have roused their ire against Lady Kira, I see. Um, I don't... I doubt that's it. They symbolize the insurgents. Nothing of interest here. Well, hand marks are weird. Ah, oh, large stone slab. It's shaped like a magatama. It looks rather un 
stable. I bet it tip over in an earthquake. Hmm, what's that uh, earthy grass-like smell? It is the smell of the moss that covers the stone. Where's our controller that deals with sound? Do you know? I don't see it. The TV's a little too loud. I have a slight headache. We usually keep it at number five, honey. Five is fine, thank you. Uh. No, you're fine. Okay, it's a small moss that covers the stone. It is a smell of moss that covers the stone, barbed one. Oh, the shaggy green stuff is moss, huh? Hmm, it looks like some moss about halfway has been disturbed. I wonder why that is. One quick touch can't hurt, right? Whoa, the slab's starting to wobble. What is happening? What have you done to the secret space? No, no, nothing. All I did was nudge it a little. I knew it looked unstable, but probably best not to touch it again. You're not concerned by the fact there's fingerprints on it? Yeah, there's handprints on it. That's creepy. Looks like somebody was, like, pressed up against it. Like, maybe they were going to fall and they put their hands out. Oh. Maybe somebody got killed and then they put their hands out and then their blood ran into the other area. There's blood in here. Oh my gosh. What's this? Blood stain? We should probably try to figure out what happened in here. Hmm. Do not tamper with any evidence before the police arrive, barbed one! The police? Hey, that reminds me. Emma gave me something for times like these. Luminol. I thought it might help you in your investigation, Mr. Wright. Here, it's all yours. I wanted to bring you a bunch of other forensic tools. That makes sense. But they were confiscated at the airport. Luminol testing fluid. Ah, this actually might come in handy. Luminol testing fluid glows in reaction to even the tiniest traces of blood. Remember they? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, remember Maya said that it was already red mm. when she got there. So maybe it, it had already flowed red because somebody got killed back here. Yeah. Maybe somebody else was killed in the back room. That's true. So it can even detect areas where blood has been wiped away, huh? Well, maybe somebody got a paper cut back there. Yeah. It might help us figure out what happened in here, actually. Okay, time for science to do its thing. First, let me put these red-tinted glasses on to see Luminos glow. Uh... Then I have to press X wherever I want to spray some of the Luminol. Areas where the blood was... Areas where there was blood will react by turning blue. I guess we can just spray it everywhere. Um, there was blood right there. Why wouldn't it react to that blood that was clearly there? That's weird. This is strange. It's not working. Oh, there we go. This is a huge blood stain. Something big must have happened here. Perhaps the high priest's blood flowed into there under the water under the warbad statue. There's definitely a lot of blood here, but it's impossible to say much else at this point. I'll just take a picture for now. How could the blood flow backwards? Though? All right, luminal reactions don't show up in photos. I'll just have to take some notes. That should do it. Mm, I didn't notice before, but the blood stain looks like it was smeared away in one place. Or is it because the Warbird revolving door passed over it? Oh, yeah. So maybe they were killed and then... <gasps> Wait. But what about... There's literally fingerprints here. Maybe, just gonna ignore maybe the priest was killed back here? I mean, I think the priest was killed here. Mm. So this is the water source that supplies the Inner Sanctum Spring. It flows through the channel built into the floor before heading outside. Lay 
Lady Kira uses the sacred water to wash the taint of battle from her body. It's also not red like the water in the spring. Hmm. There's guns. Honestly, ugh. Weapons, and lots of them. We are lucky <clears throat> we found them before they could be used. Excellent work, barbed headed lawyer worm. Uh, thanks. If the rebellion ever happens, I hope it's bloodless. How could it possibly be bloodless? Yeah, looks like an order from Dirk. What's this? Let me see that. I thought you're not supposed to touch anything in here. This is an exception. I'll hand it over. Let's see here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, Holy Mother. What? What does it say? It is an order intended for that rebel named Dats. It reads, after the right, infiltrate the palace under the guise of returning Lady Kira's costume. And search for clues about that incident from 23 years ago, Dirk. 23 years ago? He must mean the assassination of the Queen? I wonder what the rebels are up to. It's intriguing and all, but it doesn't seem related to this case, so... This will not do, Barbed Head! I must warn my mother at once! No need to do that. This order will never be carried out. Lady Kira's costume is still here, and Abbott and me is no longer able to aid the rebels. Hmm. I... I knew that! Okay. How dare those filthy insurgents raise their banner amid such a sacred place! Barbed Head, you must burn this at once! Um, didn't you tell me not to touch or damage anything? Huh. This is an exception, though. Very well, if you will not do it, then I will. Well, your benevolence, I thought you were not supposed to come in here. Ah! For once, the strange customs of this kingdom are working in my favor. Yeah. Hmm, there's something under the banner. A microphone? What's it doing here? Is someone trying to record something with it? Oh my gosh. Well, I think that covers about everything here. No, it doesn't. I didn't get to check the arrows and the other stuff. The microphone? A microphone? That's weird. Oops. Mr. Wright, you shouldn't have come in here before the police. Sorry, but I was in a hurry. Didn't do anything I wasn't supposed to, though. Her benevolence can attest to that. It is your fault for being so slow. I expect the police to work faster and more efficiently next time. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, Barbed Head, have you not already seen enough? I guess it's about time I get back to the temple and go over everything I've learned. Whoa, no, it's not. The no, princess not. stood up for you? I've already searched here, but it never hurts to have another look. Yeah. Oh, so we can't even look at the... There's this cart here. They won't let us do anything. Nothing here. Alright, so he wants me to go back to the temple. Alright, time to move on. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, return to temple. 55. 53 minutes. 50. Return to temple. Okay. Whoops. I, I have to say, I'm not trying to be like offensive to the Quran, a religion in this game, but it's got some creepy aspects to it, just saying. Yeah. Like, with this lady with a knife coming and, like, putting blood in the water and all this stuff, it's like, oh my gosh, this is really creepy, actually. I said it. I've said it. It's done. Is that what I needed to say? Mm. It's weird that they, like, think of her as a hero when she's out there killing people with a knife. Mm. It's kind of creepy. It is kind of creepy. I do like other parts of it, though. Like, for instance, this temple is really cool looking. I love all the colors on it. Yeah. It so I'm cool. into that. Welcome back, Mr. Wright. How'd it go? Unfortunately, I didn't find anything conclusive. No way. I do not understand, Barbed Head. 
What don't you understand? Why? You did not commit any misdeeds during your investigation. After all, lawyers ply their trade primarily through illicit means and methods. What? Who told you that? My mother. Are you saying she was wrong? No, that cannot be! You must have committed some sort of misdeed right under my nose. If that were true, she'd have uh, wasted her whole day falling. If that were so, she wasted her whole day following me around. Hmm? What is it? Ah, oh, okay. Prosecutor said Madi has need of me now. What's going on? I must go perform a divination seance for Pere Zealot. It is our custom for the prosecution to review its contents before a trial begins. I see. Hmm. The third time will be the charm. My insights will finally bring you to your knees. Tomorrow, barbed one, I will teach that neophyte practitioner a lesson. Looks like the royal priestess is back with a vengeance. She's made a full recovery from when we started the investigation earlier today. I look forward to seeing you in court, your benevolence. Hmm. Your overconfidence will be your downfall. You will not look so confident when I am finished with you tomorrow, lawyer. Actually, I'm not really looking forward to seeing her tomorrow. Especially without any solid evidence. Why don't we go every over everything you know so far? Alright. Let's see here. You're gonna go over it with Albi? Yep. Acolyte Zello was killed during the rite with the Lady Kira's dagger. And Maya's fingerprints were found on it. That doesn't sound very good. I know, I know. It's the very definition of being up a creek without a paddle. Hmm. The day before his murder, the Zealot enjoyed a meal with the High Priest, his wife, and Maya. They also learned about the spirit channeling here in the village. None of that sounds very helpful. Oh, but I did hear something interesting. That the rebel hunting lady might be working for the Justice Minister. What? Really? Our kingdom is supposed to be ruled through faith and laws. We can't allow the people to be controlled by fear and violence? Alby, that sounds like something a rebel might say. It does? Yeah, but isn't But it... if that Lady Kira really is the one of the minister's subordinates, that would exonerate Miss Maya. Unfortunately, I have no way of proving it in court. Oh yeah, that's too bad. I almost forgot about the secret rebel hideout we found at the Inner Sanctum. Hmm. There was blood stain inside, but I don't know if or how it's connected to this case, though. A secret room at the Inner Sanctum? That would be a huge hit with tourists! This kid really is an entrepreneur at heart, huh? Uh, what I mean is, that hideout could be important to your case. Maybe, but it's still too early to tell. Ugh, looks like I'm heading into court without any useful evidence. We'll just have to pray something appears during tomorrow's trial. Prince of Rafe, Princess Rafa's divination, uh, divination seance might be my only hope, actually. There could be some information in it that might help. The divination seance? But I thought it always works against the accused. Not always. Hmm. Right, it's like Dirk used to say. The royal priestess insights are just another piece of evidence. Really? I've never heard anyone say that before. It's hard to figure you out sometimes, sir. The divination seance has worked both ways before the Defense Act. It's only now that people of this country find it strange. Uh, Mr. Wright, I just wanted to say... Good luck tomorrow! Thanks, kid. Can't afford to lose this next one. Wow, that wasn't really helpful at all. No. I've collected all sorts of information, but I haven't even started connecting the dots. If I could do that, I might have a shot at pulling off a win. Rafa's insights will be the deciding factor. It's a huge gamble, but it's all I've got. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll figure out what happens at the trial. I don't I even know so. what's going to happen. I don't know. Um...
Yeah, it could be overturned if we find new evidence, says Don. Oh. Yeah, the laws. Yeah, definitely. Yep. I mean, it sounds like this country used to be more fair and balanced. And then they completely changed the rules after somebody... 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 Somebody assassinated their queen. Somebody assassinated their queen and then they pinned it on the lawyer, but I don't think the lawyer did that. Right. They, um, what do you call that? Frame, Frame him. them. Yeah, yeah. sorry. I, sorry, okay. I couldn't think of a word. No, here we go. Uh, court accused lobby. Hi, Maya. Hmm. Maya uh. looks exhausted, but I can't blame her. Nick, I was thinking about it all day yesterday. I never properly asked you to defend me, did I? Doesn't matter, I'm on this case till the bitter end. I know. That's why I wanted to officially ask you for help, Nick. You got it, Maya. Let's do this. We've got to wrap this up and get back home so you can make your dream show come true. The Steel Samurai versus the Plum Punisher, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. You bet, Nick. Hmm. You look as if you did not sleep last night. Barbed head, it is written all over your face. How can you expect to put up a respectable defense like that? I'm all fired up and raring to go. I guess Maya's not the only one looking exhausted. Hmm. <coughs> ah, Rafa doesn't seem to be in the best spirits herself. Huh. Go ahead. Gain confidence now while you are still able to. For I will see to it that your last rites are read to you this day. Okay, whatever. I guess it's just my imagination. Ready, Nick? Yeah, okay, Maya. Let's head in. May 12th, High Court of Kurain, or as his attorney calls it, Corneria. Yep, he's a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Arise for the honorable me. <laughs> now then, if everyone is ready. The defense is ready, your majesty. Again. The prosecution is ready. Let us begin without further delay. Oh, no prayers this time, prosecutor? I already offered my prayers for the l latest victim during the, my visit to the crime scene, being that the accused has already been found guilty of the first murder. Let us hasten this trial so that we may put this dead lawyer walking out of his misery. Yes, I could not agree more. In yesterday's trial, the accused was already found guilty of murdering the high priest. And today, she will be tried for the murder of his disciple. Now then, Prosecutor, your opening statement, if you would. Certainly. The accused has now slain two of the most devout clergymen in our country. Even the lowest level of hell, the hell of tickling, would not be a punishment enough. Then, what terrible fate awaits her? The level of tickling... A realm of eternal agony. There she will suffer endless punishment of Jagar by the Gullen of Paul Moulton. Furthermore... Enough, enough! I don't even know what he was saying. My blood runs cold at the mere thought of such a terrible place existing. I was going to ask about a translation, but no second thought, ignorance is blitz. Now then, please continue, <laughs> minus the part about the terrible hell awaiting the accused. <laughs> oh my god. As you wish. It scared the judge, whatever he said. The victim of this heinous crime was a high priest disciple. He had been training under the high priest while living at the priest's home. I had met him a number of times, and he seemed like an earnest young man. How tragic that he might meet such a terrible end. The murder occurred at the Plaza of Devotion during the Purification Rite. It was a bold crime carried out while the Plaza was full of faithful, deep in prayer. 
The dagger was found impaled in the victim's back. The stabbing caused a spinal cord injury that killed him instantly. See? I said that yesterday. Disturbing. Spinal cord. I would not think you could kill somebody by doing that in their neck. I guess you can. Your brain is a computer, and if you unplug it, well, then you're in big, big doo-doo. That's disturbing. It's true, though. It's the what about dagger, Lady Kira's weapon of choice. We've already established that the accused prints were on the weapon. Incredibly damning evidence in itself. Huh. No! No, I didn't do it, I tell you! Objection. Hold your tongue. Now, being that the accused Maya Fey is a serial killer... The prosecution believes that the death penalty is the only possible sentence. Would the defense care to respond? The accused is innocent and nothing can convince me otherwise. After all, the crime scene was packed with worshippers. How could my client possibly have committed the murder without a single witness? <sighs> the accused fingerprints are on the murder weapon alone is enough to render a verdict. As such, I see no need to debate this any further. But! Well, once our benevolence conducts our seance, it will be clear for all to see. Your Majesty, might I have a word? Hmm? Is there something the matter? It is about the divination seance. That's your benevolence! Stop right there, Prosecutor Sadmati! Hmm. As you wish. Forgive me for overstepping my bounds. What was that all about? Barb Ted, have you made peace with your fate? For this time, the divination seance will bring you to your knees. I'm ready, and I accept your challenge. The problem is I have no weapons at my disposal. Only hope now is that we can glean some uh, seance vision and Rafa's insights. Very well. The divination seance, if you please, your benevolence. Yes. Let us begin. Nana? Takes her cape, and then she goes do her little dance. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, holy mother. We hold this divination seance in your name. Okay. Let the eyes of everyone here be clear and our ears be unstopped. O oh, dance of devotion, guide the victim's soul to me so that we may receive their final memories in the pool of souls. Okay. <laughs> It's dancing time. So it's actually been eight years since the last uh, Canical Phoenix Wright game. The previous game, or the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, takes place in his grandfather's time period. So we actually haven't had a new Ace Attorney, like Phoenix Wright story, since this game, Spirit of Justice. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. That's really interesting they made, like. All of these, like, dances, the seance, the, the costumes, the priests, everything. They made, like, this entire culture for this game. It's kind of cool, actually. It's like they made the whole universe for this game. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, clever, like, very detailed story. <clears throat> very creative. Uh, 
Um, I don't get it. Why hasn't anything... There's nothing to see. Your benevolence! What in the world? Ah! Uh, I was unable to evoke any sort of response. I called out to the spirit's name many times, but to no avail. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Just as I thought. Wait, what does he know that we don't? I had sought to confirm the contents of today's divination seance. After all, it's customary for the prosecutor to verify beforehand. Come to think of it. I must go perform a divination seance for Prey Zealot. It is our custom for the prosecution to review its contents before the trial begins. And that is why I sought to stop her benevolence from performing it here. Whoops. And maybe it didn't work before. However, she insisted that it be done. She wished to try one more time here in the Hall of Justice. It would appear her benevolence is tired from her manifold duties. I am not anything of the sort! The victim's spirit will not answer my call, but I do not know why! It is my secret duty to convey the truth to the divination seance! Rafa, what are we to do without a divination seance? I suppose I shall have to deliver the last rites without them. My the prosecution has already taken into account when preparing for today. I'm fully capable of providing the accused guilt with or without a divination seance. Ah! 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 You never failed to impress, prosecutor. This is bad. The Divin divination seance was my one and only hope. Your Majesty, her benevolence said she isn't tired. So, shouldn't we try to find out why the divination seance failed? <laughs> I'm curious, Mr. Wright. Why have you suddenly taken such a keen interest in the seance? Yes, explain yourself, barbed one. The divination seance is for shedding light on the accused crimes. Is it the Holy Mother's hammer of wrath that is ever poisoned to pound you into your grave? Poised. Poised? You should fear it, not plead for it. I believe in my client. Plus, yesterday, somebody told me something that changed my mind. The divination seance was once thought of as another piece of evidence. If we're to correctly interpret the visions through careful analysis, then they would lead us to the truth behind what really happened. And the truth will show that my client, Maya Fey, is innocent. The truth is, you don't have anything else to fall back on, huh, Nick? Maya, please, you're not helping. How dare you! The voice of Amitama is to be feared, not utilized by vile lawyers such as you. Sans has exact a heavy toll upon the royal priestess. It would be best not to burden her any further. Or does the defense feel that it can pose no counter arguments, arguments without a seance? Oh, nope, wow. of course not. You saw right through me. Wow. I have to find a way to make the divination seance happen or we're toast. Well, since the divination seance is not possible at this time, I have no other choice. Let us proceed the trial without the seance as prosecutor suggested. How are we going to... Thank you, your majesty. Why, you... I will not forget this barbed head! This will not be the last you see of me. Really? So we're not going to get executed then? Now then, I will proceed by proving an outline of the case at hand. Uh, no, you still probably get executed. Seance fails. But she said it wouldn't be the last time we saw her, so how could we see her if we're about to get executed? No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Seance fails. I'm feeling bad for a little cute... Uh, Maya's cousin. What? It's basically Maya's cousin. They come. They're the same bloodline. They How could they the be same. the same bloodline? They look the same. What? You think they're the same bloodline? Yep. 
But maybe it's just a coincidence that other people can, like, try really hard to learn Seance stuff. I don't know. Uh, Final Fantasy won't be starting in 30 minutes. Um, Sorry, that was my fault. It's, it's be more like 7.30 or, or wait, no. It's, wait, it's scheduled for 7 o'clock? That ain't happening. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. I threw everything off today. You're fine. Mm -hmm. You're fine. The latest, it'll be 7.45. All right. Um, uh, we really appreciate you guys and gals <clears throat> supporting the series um, for Ice Attorney. And this is my favorite series that we're doing right now. So thank you guys for showing up and helping get the views for it. And I really like doing it. Hope you guys like watching it, because I'm having a lot of fun. Right, distant, distant cousins, not like cousins, cousins. Pearls are cousins. Okay. But I don't even think they're related at all, because Maya is a commoner person, and this lady is a, a princess. They already gave you the clue, but I might have accidentally spoiled something, so. It's been a long time since I played Spirit of Justice. Okay. Very well, if the lead detective would please come to the stand, we may begin. It's Emma again. Sorry, Mr. Wright. Detective Sky, I understand how you would wish to save the accused in the defense. They are your friends, after all. But you must let them go and move on. But, uh... There is only one way to save them now. By giving their souls a chance to burn away the taint of their sins in internal flames. Oh, I, I... I can't do this. No waiting in the sacred hall of justice! Munch, 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 munch. Miss Sky? Uh, yes! Don't worry about me and Nick. You just do your job, okay? I'm sure Nick will figure something out. E eventually. Mm -hmm. Right. Thanks, Miss Fay. How very brave for a criminal with a tainted soul. Very well, Detective Sky. Please proceed. Okay, I can do this. Let me start with an overview of this case. She's the only police officer at the scene, huh. but she's the forensic. Where's the other police? They just wanted to include um, Emma in the game. <laughs> they should have other police officers, though. Ugh. Well, I guess she is doing all the, like, uh, science-y, like, stuff. Yeah. yeah, she is. The important evidence. Overview of the second murder. The latest victim was Pere Zealot. He had been training under the high priest and living at his house for the past two years. The high priest's widow, Believe in Me, has identified the victim's body. He may have been mistaken for a rebel and killed due, his, due to his connection to the high priest. May, they don't or know. Or killed by somebody else. I see. Well, that certainly makes sense. Would the defense cat out respond? I didn't spot any inconsistencies in her testimony so far, and I don't have any evidence in my arsenal. What am I going to do now? Hmm. What is it, Maya? Well, I was just wondering about how much the police actually looked into Accolade Zealot, Nick. Because it might just prove to be the key as to why the divination seance failed. What are you getting at? Um, well, it's just a hunch. Wait a second. During my investigation, Rafa told me about how the divination seance works. If I could figure out why it failed, maybe she could try again. Okay, time to pass, uh, press for some more info. Well, the only reason I could think of that it would fail is... Wrong name? Exactly. If you're, like, calling on a spirit by their name. If, if somebody was cosplaying as somebody else and you killed them, you thought they were that one person, but they were actually somebody else, then that spirit wouldn't respond to the name. That's just my impression. Uh, the latest uh, victim, blah, blah, blah. What kind of person was the zealot? Hmm. According to the neighbors and others who knew him, he was deep, a deeply devout youth. I, too, have heard his name mentioned as one who was fervent uh, practitioner. I suppose you might say he was the high priest's star disciple. 
Furthermore, he had been training under the big high priest. I mean, I don't know why I said big. He had been training under the high priest. Two years, huh? Are you sure about that? He took statements from the neighbors and his fellow monks. They all corroborate our initial findings, Mr. Wright. What about you, Maya? Well, when I first came here, I saw Zealot praying under the high priest's instruction. I see. So the results of the police investigation seem to check out. The high priest's widow, Believe in Me, has identified the victim's body. Hold it! Was Mrs. In Me positive ID the only way you verified the identity of the victim? Uh, uh huh? Well, no. I, we also checked the ID card he carried and the data in his family registry. But. But what? His personal information, uh, it didn't match any of the public res re records that we cross-referenced, Mr. Wright. Maybe that's why the divination seance failed. I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Wright. Here's what I'm thinking. Pray Zealot is a fake name. Mm. The victim decided to hide his identity for some reason. In other words, he was using a fake name. The royal priestess used a deceased face and true name to summon their spirit. Hmm. Why, yes, that is indeed true. If he was using a forged ID, then there's no mention of him in our public records. Then he was likely an illegal immigrant. They are not uncommon here in our country. An illegal immigrant, huh? Come to think of it, Rafa mentioned something about immigrants yesterday. But if that's the case, we have no way of knowing who he really is. We'll have to proceed without holding a divination seance this time. Dark. I always thought that the zealot was, uh, from our country. Cornarian. Oh, how the high priest must be lamenting his disciples' deception in the Twilight Realm. Well, Mr. Knight, what do you think? I call it Quranese. Should we add this to the testimony? Yes. Yes, I think so. Yeah, this is an important fact. Please add it to the testimony. Hmm, it would seem to be a fact most inconvenient for the defense. But if you insist, Detective Sky, please add this uh, to your testimony. At least Rafa feels better now that she knows it wasn't her fault. Mm -hmm. Yes, your majesty. Of course. He was an illegal immigrant, so we don't know his real name. Hold it! Isn't there some way to track down his real name? No, not if he was an illegal immigrant. Have you actually confirmed that he was in uh, this country illegally? Well, we don't have any conclusive evidence, but there is also no evidence of him being a citizen of Karine either. Ooh. Oh boy, now what do we do? What if there was a clue in your evidence that you gathered, Nick? That's probably our only hope at this point. If he really was an illegal immigrant, our proverbial goose is probably cooked. What evidence? He may have been mistaken for a rebel and killed to his connection with the high priest. Maya isn't that Lady Kira who's been uh, going around capturing rebels, though. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but... Uh... That verdict was already handed down in the previous trial. It's no longer a point of dispute, and I will not allow you to make it so. But... No ifs, ands, and most of all, no buts. Wow. The accused was posing as Lady Kira. And she killed the zealot because she mistakenly believed him to be a rebel. Th th that's not true! I'm sorry, Maya. The verdict has already been read in that case. I have to assume that's fact now. Now what do we do? Now I know why the divination seance failed, but... Um, nothing's really changed at all, Nick. Yeah, which means we're in big trouble. If he really was an illegal immigrant, it's going to be really hard to find out his real name. I guess our only chance is to give up on the whole divination seance thing 
Oh. Only there was one way to figure out what the victim's real name was. Maybe he has defining marks on his body or oh, something. Oh, the peach tattoo on his back. Oh, yeah, if he had a tattoo, you could probably run it through the system. Or something. Right. That's what I was thinking. Uh, wait, where's his... There it is. Objection! Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, this is why... This is why... I don't want to say this, but this is one thing that makes me never want to get a tattoo, is if I was ever accused of a crime I did not commit, it would be so easy to identify you if you have a tattoo. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, if you were in that movie The Fugitive, running from the law, they would find you immediately. Yeah. So, I'm just saying. Let's move on, babe. I'm done. Sorry, Detective Sky. But the police missed something important in their investigation. Ah! What are you talking about, Mr. Wright? The victim was undeniably, uh, a native. And this crime scene photo proves it. It does? It does. It's a little hard to see, but look closely. You'll see a clear proof that the victim was from this country. Well, where? I don't see anything that would prove that. This proves the victim was from this country. His tattoo. His tattoo, yeah. A little peach. Take that. Peach. Look at his tattoo right here. Or turn up. That's a tattoo of a peach? That would, uh, I would like all of you to think about the meaning of this tattoo. Oh, um, the victim really liked peaches? Well, peaches are a favorite delicacy here in our country. They happen to be a personal favorite of mine. The sweetness of their abundant nectars and the softness of their perfectly ripe flesh. They're a blessing from the Holy Mother herself. Nick! I've suddenly got a craving for peaches now! After the trial, Maya, right now we have a bigger fish to fry. Fine! Unfortunately, that is not a tattoo of a peach. It is not a peach, you say? Then what is it? Take a closer look. Haven't you seen something like that before? Namely the tattoo on the high priest's brow. It's the same symbol. My! <gasps> what?! This mark is only borne by members of the clergy. Whoa! So, that is what you believe it to be? But are they not utterly different shapes? Sure, they're shaped differently, but there's a reason for that. The victim had the peach-shaped tattoo inked over an existing tattoo for some reason. However, the darker red portion is exactly the same as the mark of the clergy bear. Hey, you're right! Hmm, until about 20-some-odd years ago, everyone did get one, didn't they? I myself uh, bear one on my... This is entirely too much information, Your Oh Majesty. my gosh. Information on everyone who enters the clergy is maintained at the temple. All we have to do is look up the monk with a mark in the same spot. <gasps> I'm on it. I'll let you know if I get any hits, Mr. Wright. That will not be necessary. If you seek information on the clergy... I have it all right here. My! You never cease to amaze. So tell us, is that anyone who fits the bill? Hmm. There is just one, and his name is Real Neum. Nima. Nemu? Nemu? Re Real Nemu. I don't know. He became a monk 20 years ago. Real name? Oh, real Nemu. Real Nemu. Then that must be the victim's real name. But why would he try to cover up his tattoo with another? Yeah, there must have been a, some reason. Nick, that's not even important right now. The important thing is all we know is... To, darn it! The important thing is we know his real name. You're right. Your Majesty, now that we know the victim's real name, the divination seance might finally work. Hmm, a lawyer who unwillingly, willingly seeks a seance, this is entirely unprecedented. Huh. You are but digging your own grave, defense. We won't know until we try. Sure, it's risky, but it's our only hope. Pretty well. Let the divination seance be held once more. Well, 
this will be the first time the prosecution sees it too. Yep. Why would a lawyer work so hard to see the divination seance be held once more? You are a fool, barbed head! Your foolishness shall yield no gratitude for me. For with the truth revealed by my insights, I shall gladly seek your demise. Yeah, whatever. Bring it on, princess. Because I will correctly interpret each and every one of your insights. Ha! Huh. You will regret ever thinking you could use my sacred insights as evidence. O oh, Holy Mother, we hold this divination seance in your name. Let the eyes of everyone here be clear, and our ears be unstopped. O oh, Dance of Devotion, guide the victim's soul to me, so that we may receive their final memories in the Pool of Souls. Hmm. Here we go again. It can be skipped. We already saw the dance once. She was working hard. Rafael was trying her best. Ken Gill. Bloomed Punisher theme. Pain. Bloomed Punisher theme. My! This is Mr. Ike surmised. Pray Zell it wasn't the victim's true name. And now at last we have seen the victim's final moments. But all we could see was the ground. You seem terribly disappointed. I take it you did not find any fodder for one of your infamous turnabouts. <laughs> yeah, you did. The music. I on the other hand, I on the other hand have discovered something. Conclusive evidence that establishes the accused's guilt. <gasps> you did? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Most surprising attack. So tell us, prosecutor, what is this conclusive evidence you have found? The plumed Punisher theme song that the deceased heard. Please consider this item here. It was confiscated from the accused during her interrogation. Hey! That's my plumed Punisher strap! When you press the Magtama on the plumed Punisher's belt. Ah! Yeah, but there was a clock. We already know the murder took place somewhere else. Also, Maya traded that with It something. seems the accused inadvertently pressed the button in the midst of her crime. This strap is an extremely rare item. It is not, Miss Faye? You better not break it! There's only one of those in the whole wide world! Maya, no! Don't say that, Maya. Maya, you idiot. Ha ha ha! It's just as I said, barbed one. Your flights of fancy have come crashing down on you! She sh seems to be enjoying this, Nick! Yeah, I've never seen her look so thrilled at before, either. It is time to accept the fact that the divination seance is far more than evidence! It is the very truth that brings the hammer of justice 
down upon the heads of the accused! Maya, you idiot. That is as inclusive as evidence can get. Now then, if there are any further objections... Objection! Slow down there, your majesty. At least let's make a counter-argument. What's this? Do you take the issue with the divination seance? Oh, I have issues with it. I just don't know where to start yet. I mean, Phoenix, the entire area is different where the guy is on the ground. It's green. It's not green in the other place. Yeah, that's not the ground. His hands are pressed up against that weird thing in the back room. But that's never stopped me before. The divination seance is not the absolute truth. It only becomes the truth after it's been interpreted correctly. Ah! You do not know what you when you are beaten, do you, foolish lawyer? I am the only one who speaks for the Mitama of the deceased. If you believe there to be errors in my insights, then let us see you prove it. All right, Ace Attorney is about to. Rafa's insights. The victim was offering up his prayers. It was the night of the rite. Though it's dark, the pattern of the plaza's ground was visible. Then, someone was there, and the theme to the plumed punisher filled the air. The accused held the defenseless victim down and plunged her knife into his neck. The blade struck true, and in that instant, he departed from this world. That is everything the deceased experienced in his final moments. Her benevolence insights have painted a detailed picture both vivid and true. I didn't notice any holes there. As they stand now, those insights are really stacked against us. I'll just have to go over every and to go over each and every one of the deceased's sensations very carefully. Well, I don't know what the first sensation even means, Gingil. Plume Punisher theme, heavy. Oh, Gingil was that food that everyone was eating before. Gingil. He was smelling that food. That food that was, uh, like, garlic or some kind of, like, really bad smelling food that everyone had to eat. And it would sustain them for two days of, like, praying or something. Mm, the weird food. Ah, oh, press the food, but the victim was offering his prayers. It was the night of the right, though it's dark. The pattern of the plaza's ground was visible. What does that have to do with food? It was the night of the right. Maybe that has to do with it. It was the night of the right, and then you had food. The food smell should have been gone. Shouldn't have it have been gone by the night of the right. That's true. Uh, I guess we could try to uh, press on the food on that one. See what Objection! Was it really the night of the right? What do you mean, barbed one? It could not be otherwise. The accused slew acolyte zealot after killing the high priest during the purification rite. The only problem is the deceased spirit does not cooperate that. What's this? Take a good look at what the victim smelled. Do you see how it says, uh, gin... Gingil, you mean? Yeah, that gross stuff. Acolyte Zealot shouldn't have smelled any of that stuff on the night of the rite. It would have, it would have been dissipated by What now. do you mean? Let me back up my statement with some evidence for you. This should explain how the victim shouldn't have smelled that stuff on the night of the rite. The photo with the family, maybe? Mm, is there anything else we have? Like a, something that talks about the, the food or something? Or 
Um, what is the that? statement of What's... the the blessing. Dishes were made with gingil. These dishes only prepared during the feast, which starts at noon the next day. It must be finished at 3 p.m. the same day. Yeah, I would present... I would try it. The high priest's wife um, told me about the Feast of Blessings. The feast includes a number of... of uh, I can't say that stuff. Gingil. The Feast of Blessing includes a number of gingil based dishes. And they're only supposed to be served at a certain time of day before the rite. Why, well, I believe you're right. I'd completely forgotten about that. During the feast, the unique smell of the gingi or whatever pervades the entire kingdom. The fact that the victim smelled it means he was murdered between noon and 3 p.m. the day before the purification rite. <gasps> wow, so he was murdered the day before? Oh my gosh. Huh, I am not so easily fooled. Did that autopsy report not make it clear? The estimated time of death was during the rite. All right, I taught her about that yesterday. Forgive me your benevolence, but the estimated time of death is just that, an estimate. Depending on the circumstances, it's possible for it to change. What? What's this? Like, if a body was kept cold and slowed rate of decay makes the death seem more recent. Well, I believe I've heard something of that sort before. If it is as Mr. I claims, the victim's time of death in the autopsy report will have to be revised. Autopsy report updated in the court record. No! Barb, had you... You blinded me with science! Reference! Sorry! Wait, what am I apologizing for? You blinded me with... With science! <laughs>